Are you ready for a wild ride filled with laughter, surprises, and a touch of sadness? The Palm Beach Story is your ticket to a roller coaster of emotions. This 1942 movie is a delightful comedy that keeps you glued to the screen from start to finish. Directed by Preston Sturgis, it tells the story of Jerry and Tom, a married couple facing financial woes. In a bid to solve their problems, Jerry embarks on a journey to Palm Beach, encountering a slew of eccentric characters along the way. When was the first time you watched this movie? Whether it was decades ago or just yesterday, one thing's for sure the Palm Beach story never fails to entertain. Its timeless humor and witty dialogue leave a lasting impression on viewers of all ages. As you delve deeper into the film, you'll discover funny, shocking, and even touching moments that will keep you hooked until the very end. So sit back, relax, and get ready for a cinematic experience like no other. Now we want to hear from you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? Share your stories and memories in the comments below. We can't wait to hear from you. The Palm Beach story stands as a notable exemplar of classic Hollywood comedy. It navigates through absurd circumstances with finesse, offering a delightful journey for viewers. The plot revolves around a couple facing marital troubles leading to their separation. As the wife embarks on a train journey to Palm Springs, her husband pursues her by plane. Their paths intertwine with wealthy siblings, adding layers of hilarity and unexpected twists. Preston Sturges, the film's director, weaves a romantic finale that may seem unconventional but adds to the film's charm. Amidst the chaos, the journey itself emerges as a primary source of entertainment. Notably, one of the protagonists finds herself amidst a group of eccentric, inebriated millionaires generating comedic gold and subtle commentary on gun control. Sturges employs familiar faces from his repertoire to populate the eccentric cast, including memorable performances by Rue D. Valley and Mary Astor. The film's comedic essence is further enriched by Valley's musical interludes, adding a layer of nostalgic charm. Overall, the Palm Beach story offers a masterclass in timeless screen comedy. Its ability to blend humor with poignant moments ensures its enduring appeal, making it a must-watch for fans of the genre and newcomers alike. The Palm Beach Story, a 1942 film from Paramount Productions, is part of a collection of over 700 films now controlled by MC Universal since their acquisition in 1958. It was initially broadcast on television in various cities from April 1959 and later released on DVD in 2005 and 2006. Turner Classic Movies has frequently aired it since then. Claudette Colbert, one of the stars in the movie, performed in two Broadway productions alongside fellow Academy Award winner Rex Harrison in their later careers. These productions, namely The Kingfisher in 1978 and Aren't We All in 1985, took place at the Biltmore Theatre and Brooks Atkinson Theatre, respectively. Joel McCrea, another actor from the Palm Beach story, took on the lead role in NBC Radio's Tales from the Texas Rangers from 1950 to 1952. This radio program featured Western police procedural stories based on real cases handled by the Texas Rangers. The movie, released in 1942, features notable actors like Claudette Colbert and Joel McCrea. Colbert later showcased her talent in Broadway productions, including The Kingfisher in 1978 and Aren't We All in 1985, alongside Rex Harrison. Meanwhile, Joel McCrea, another actor from the film, played the lead role in the radio series Tales from the Texas Rangers from 1950 to 1952. The Palm Beach story, now under the control of MC Universal, has been broadcast on television since 1959 and released on DVD in the mid-2000s. Turner Classic Movies has been airing it regularly. The filming of the Palm Beach story took longer than planned and cost about $950,000. Dollar, it's considered one of the funniest American movies ever, according to the American Film Institute. Claudette Colbert, who starred in it, got nominated for a Tony Award for Best Actress. She was also great on Broadway in 1959. The movie is still remembered today for its greatness and the amazing actors in it. Let's thank everyone who made this movie amazing. The Palm Beach Story, released in 1942, features actress Bess Flowers, known for her appearances in several Academy Award-winning films, including It Happened One Night, You Can't Take It With You, All About Eve, The Greatest Show on Earth, and Around the World in 80 Days. She also appeared in numerous other films nominated for Best Picture. Joel McCrea, another notable figure in the film, is documented in the Scribner Encyclopedia of American Lives. 
The film is part of the Criterion Collection, Spine 742. Bess Flowers, renowned for her roles in Oscar-winning films, stars alongside Joel McCrea in this Criterion Collection movie. In 1942, The Palm Beach Story, starring William Demarest and Mary Astor, hit the screens. Later in 1945, Demarest appeared on NBC Radio's The Eddie Bracken Story. As for Mary Astor, she clinched a Best Supporting Actress Oscar for portraying a pregnant character in a movie, The Great Lie, in 1941. According to Real Facts, the movie Book of Records, Astor started at Famous Players in the early 1920s, earning $500 weekly. But by the 1928-1929 season at 20th Century Fox, she was pulling in three dollars 750 per week over 40 weeks. Astor's journey in the industry highlights her remarkable talent and earning power. In the 1940s movie, The Palm Beach Story, there's a clever inside joke where a character named John D. Hackensacker performs the song Goodnight Sweetheart, famously linked to Rue D. Valley, another actor in the film. Joel McCrea, known for his role in the movie, turned down parts in several other films, including ones with Katherine Hepburn and in Preston Sturges movies. Frank Morin, who appeared in multiple Sturges films, is credited as Brakeman, yet interestingly, he wears the same wardrobe as Al Bridge and Arthur Hoyt. These humorous casting choices add a special charm to the film. The blend of humor and casting intricacies makes it even more enjoyable. Monty Blue, known for his daring stunts in The Grim Game, co-stars in The Palm Beach Story. This film marks Preston Sturge's fifth creation in two years. Mary Astor, originally set for a different role, won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress thanks to her performance. Astor's shift from The Great Lie to The Palm Beach Story proved fruitful. Betty Davis, opting for a smaller role, supported Astor's career, showcasing their friendship's strength. These events underscore the collaborative spirit prevalent in the movie industry. Sturge's efficient filmmaking pace highlights his creative prowess, while Astor's recognition reflects the importance of casting choices. Monty Blue's past exploits add an intriguing layer to his role in the film. The Palm Beach story thrives on the talents and decisions of its cast and crew, resulting in a memorable cinematic experience. In a notable scene from the Palm Beach story, as Joel McCrea and Mary Astor stroll on the pier from Rue D. Valley's yacht, Preston Sturges appears, Hitchcock style, as the leader of the crew handling Claudette Colbert's luggage. Claudette Colbert, known for her Academy Award-winning performance in It Happened One Night, joins a select group of actresses recognized for their comedic talents. Other recipients include Audrey Hepburn, Goldie Hawn, and Helen Hunt. Rudy Valley, another figure in the film, has an interesting anecdote related to his final resting place. Both his and his brother's headstones were stolen, leaving only the family plot marker at St. Hyacinth's. In summary, the Palm Beach story features notable appearances and achievements within the cast, including a Hitchcockian moment and Colbert's comedic prowess, alongside an intriguing detail about Valley's burial site.